Hi everyone, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill, and on this channel we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty and beauty standards. So don't get FOMO, there's a lot of great videos coming up, so make sure to subscribe. Also, I do have a second channel called Lori Beauty where I discuss non-surgical beauty like makeup, skincare, and lifestyle. So make sure and go and subscribe to that channel so you don't miss any of that content. In this video, we're going to update Demi more. Now I did a past video on Demi back in 2021, where I analyzed what I thought the change was to her looks back then. Now in this video, I have some insider information that confirms many of the procedures that I analyzed Demi having back then. So it's super exciting. Before that though, we are going to go over Demi's past plastic surgery procedures. When I say past, I mean past past like when she first started out and throughout her career. So make sure and watch the beginning, middle, and end of this video where we're going to talk about Demi's most recent procedures that have her looking this stunning, as well as the confirmation I received from my insider, as well as the total of her plastic and cosmetic surgery procedures. Remember that everything I say in this video is my opinion only. I have no proof or receipts that the celebrity has had any of the procedures done that I analyze them having. Never use these videos as a way to shame or send hate to that celebrity. Let's get started. Demi Moore has been this Hollywood icon since the 1980s. She's been praised for her acting skills, and enduring beauty. Her roles in Hollywood blockbuster movies have earned admiration from both fans and her critics, establishing her as this standout actress in the industry. Demi's compelling performances really showcase her mastery of the craft, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment world. But unfortunately, just like so many female celebrities, Demi's appearance has been subject to scrutiny over the years particularly as she's aged and undergone facial changes. From speculations about alterations done earlier in her career to more recent transformations, it's time to have an open and honest discussion about the possible reasons behind her shifting appearance. Let's look at Demi's natural beauty traits. I love her eyes, which are naturally round. They have a friendly and open look to them. I love her skin, which is glowing and luminous and always very well taken care of. Finally, I love her smile. She has the quintessential glamorous movie star smile. Demi starts out with naturally slight bone structure. It's definitely not prominent. Although her jaw is on the more prominent side, we see flatter cheekbones, which are not prominent. Now these observations are not meant to be malicious, but I call your attention to them because in the following years after we see her looking like this, those particular characteristics to her face are going to change. Please note that in this video, I will not be using many before and after comparison photos in light of there just not being a ton in her early days, as well as being able to get this video out as quickly as possible to you all. But I will present you with the photos that best show her changes. Her first plastic surgery procedure may have been around 1989, and these years are just estimates where there is subtle work done to Demi's nose tip. Her nose was once bulbous, as we can see in these photos here. Now these are very early photos that I'm sure most of you haven't seen because I haven't seen them either. But in these photos, we definitely see a larger nose base with a larger nose tip that presents as thicker and more on the bulbous side. Now take a look at Demi's after nose tip. Her nose tip has been narrowed and the base of her nose has been brought inwards. Could this have been a base reduction? Possibly. What I am sure about though is that tip has been narrowed and defined and refined. Have you guys ever searched your name on Google just to see what would come up? I've done this and what comes up are inquiries about who my husband is, where we live, and even who my children are. You guys, this is so scary. And what's even scarier is 
One of my searches led to the correct information, including my correct address. Now, ever since I partnered with Aura, an online security company, I have seen a huge reduction in the number of correct addresses and correct emails that come up for me. The thing that sucks is that data brokers sell your information to scammers and spammers and anyone else who just wants to target you. They're basically on the side of the bad guys. So your full name, your home address, even your health records are out there for the world to see. That's why I love Aura. Aura shows me and will show you what data brokers are selling your information and it'll automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Look at this, look at how many data brokers had my information or something so close to my information that people could have figured it out instantly. And cleaning up my information not only helps with those really annoying spam calls you get, but it also protects me from hackers who are trying to sell my information so that my social media can get easily hacked, as well as my bank accounts and other sensitive information. Aura does so much to protect me and my family from online threats that we don't see. It's really easy to set up. You don't need to download a bunch of apps to get things like antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft, insurance, and more. I get everything for one affordable price. You may already have one or two of these tools, but not having Aura is like locking your front door and leaving the back door open. Aura is that all-encompassing with its protection. I value my privacy, but I also value yours. So go to aura.com forward slash Lori Hill to start your free two-week trial of Aura. It's also linked down below in my description box, as well as in my comments. You're going to love it. Thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring this video. Just go- Another change I notice is to Demi's brows and possibly her eyelids. Before, Demi had quite hooded eyes, which were gorgeous. Hooded eyes are beautiful and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. But in the after, we see that her upper eyelids are now more visible. Now this could have been an upper blepharoplasty where they would have removed a small amount of tissue from Demi's upper eyelids. Or, and I think this is more likely, it was a brow lift where the moving upwards and back of Demi's brows have given her eyelids a lift as well. Of course, it could have been both of these procedures as well. Regardless, there was something done to Demi's eyes back in those early days to make her eyelids more visible and to give her eyes a more open look than they already had. All of these changes were made quite early on and it's really incredible to me because it's really changed the way I think of Demi's before face. And I think a lot of you also, I think we all kind of picture Demi's before face being this, where really it was this. And it's quite incredible how the entertainment industry will do that. They'll change our perception of what the actor even looked like before. So by the time that actor is getting their second or third nose job, we think it's their first nose job. Now, Demi was in the blockbuster movie, Charlie's Angels. And to get ready for this role, it was highly publicized that Demi had a lot of plastic surgery done. And I'm someone who remembers that time, although I was young, although I feel like the internet has erased all proof of that time, it was very hard to find articles mentioning that Demi had had work done. Most of the work she had done was rumored to be to her body. Here's an example of one of the articles I found. Miss Moore then returned to the screen in 2003's Charlie's Angels, full throttle, emerging from the sea in a skimpy bikini, which showed off the results of a cosmetic surgery spending spree. It was rumored that Demi had spent a lot of money getting liposuction, breast implants, as well as surgery done to her saggy knees. Now keep in mind, Demi was 40 years old at this time, so who knows if it's true, but I will include some of that in the post-analysis price wrap-up. 
It's in 2012 where it looks like Demi had a facelift and a neck lift done. If you look at these photos, the jaw is taut and firm, and the neck is especially tight and very youthful looking. Take a look at the past photo prior to the neck and possible facelift. If you see here, there's just the ever so beginning of laxity to her jaw and to her neck. Now you will notice that there's still laxity to her nasal labial fold area in both the before and after as a facelift does not target the mid face. Now in 2013, some of that mid face laxity seems to have been addressed. This is where I think Demi gets cheek implants. We see that Demi's once Flatter and softer cheek area has been enhanced, particularly in the typical areas of prominence like the zygoma. There is now an OG curve present to her cheeks where there wasn't one before. I believe these cheek implants were probably placed to take care of some of the extra skin slack from Demi's mid-face area in an effort to hold up some of that facial flesh on her mid-face. Lastly, take a look at Demi's chin. Her once weaker chin is now much more shapely and prominent, coming to a point where in the past there wasn't so much of a point and she had somewhat of a weaker chin there before. It now fits seamlessly with her naturally strong jaw. I believe this is the point where Demi had a chin implant placed. Also, I did want to note that although Demi starts out with beautiful natural teeth, I do believe she's had cosmetic dental work done in the form of crowns and veneers. So I will add at least two rounds of veneers done to her total. Demi has a beautiful smile regardless. Now let's take a look at Demi in 2021. We see her looking very different in this fashion show and rumors were going nuts about her having a facelift, having threads, or even possibly just this being prosthetics for the fashion show with people saying that this photo, this after photo after the show proves that she looks quote unquote like her normal self. Well, my analysis back then was that she had had a face and a neck lift and that she was probably still swollen, but that the facelift was done with a vector placed on either side of her lips forcing her lips to go upwards and kind of making it look like she has a joker smile. Well, I have found out from an insider that Demi did in fact have a facelift done all those years back by a very acclaimed surgeon. And if you remember, this would be her second facelift. Well, she paid a ton of money to this surgeon and this is what they did showing you that even the best surgeons can have off days or miscalculations. So what happened was in the years that followed, Demi pursued a facelift revision and another very famous surgeon revised this past facelift. So I believe we're at her third facelift at this point. So the third facelift was done very recently and it has Demi looking like this. Now I cannot explain to you how hard of a job this surgeon had because they had to revise a previous facelift and then they were already working on someone who had had another facelift before then. So this is kind of miraculous that she was able to get this great of a job done. Now, back in 2021, we also speculated that there may have been some nose work done and a possible lip lift. And I wasn't quite sure if there was or wasn't because there was just so much swelling. But now that the swelling has gone down, I do see that she did have a lip lift, though subtle, as well as some nose work done. So I'll add that to the end calculations. Demi looks absolutely amazing. I hope she feels great about herself. Now, as far as body work, I do think there were at least two different pairs of breast implants done along with liposuction done at least two rounds in her life. Let's add up all of Demi's possible plastic and cosmetic procedures, and I'll tell you how much it costs to look like Demi Moore. All prices are based at the high end of the price range. First, rhinoplasty, 10,000. Blepharoplasty, 8,000. Brow lift, 10,000. Cheek implants, 5,000. 
chin implant, 5,000. Knee lift, 5,000. First facelift, 50,000. Second facelift, 200,000. And you guys remember, I do know of the prices of these surgeons that she used, so it is accurate. Third facelift, $300,000. First set of veneers, 20,000. Second set of veneers, 50,000. First breast implants, 10,000. Second pair of breast implants and lift, 30,000. Liposuction through the years, 50,000. Lip lift, 10,000. Second rhinoplasty, 20,000. Botox and dermal filler for multiple years, 30,000. Total cost, $813,000. So let me know what you guys think of all of Demi's changes. She just looks so much happier now, but she lost so many years of her life hiding out because of the basically botched plastic surgery. It's so sad. And I feel like just watching that gives us all a lesson that no matter how much money you spend and who you go to, that mistakes can still be made. Let me know what you think of Demi's beautiful and youthful new look. And also please go watch the next video coming up, it's my new series with real patient plastic surgery consultations with a beautiful YouTuber named Risa from Risa Does Makeup. You definitely don't want to miss this video. It's so vulnerable and just really real. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go subscribe to Lori Beauty and also make sure to support my sponsor Aura. The link is down below. You guys, they keep this channel running. Please go and support them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>